Hi there. This is going to be a short uh, talk about uh, watch bands uh, for divers watches. Um, and I was given uh, my first divers watch when I was about 18. It was a present from a girl and it had the Pepsi bezel, which is this type, a two color and a rubber strap. <laughs> And I really liked it, and um, uh, I, I wore it all the time. And then um, when I started working with Terry, uh, and every now and again he, he would lash a kick at you, um, just by way of punctuation, um, and trying to block those kicks, it loosened the um, bars on the watch. Anyway, um, <clears throat> when I went to Japan, I uh, had an apartment and as I entered it for the first time had a staircase and as I grasped the banister the watch came off the um, bar and fell between the banister between the banister and the wall into um, a crawl space under the house and it was never seen again and uh, so I never had a watch uh, during my time in, in Japan until the last day when Arthur Tansley, who was uh, our photographer in, in uh, residence in Tokyo, uh, gave me a present of a Seiko. And it, it had um, a metal bracelet and I wore that for quite a while. Um, but I always liked the diver's watches and then eventually um, I bought myself uh, my first Seiko diver's. Uh, with the Pepsi bezel and the rubber band and uh, really it, it's I've always had a Seiko ever since and um, it, it's really uh, my favorite type of watch and the only problem is the rubber band which quite often is a composite it's not actually a natural rubber in a lot of cases tends to weaken at the buckle and eventually uh, it, it breaks so you have to replace them um, so what I started to do was instead of replacing them with the um, rubber I started using what's called a NATO band which is this and the NATO band as you can see goes over both sides of the watch so it's it's a split band and it's um, you don't have to fiddle around with the bars taking the bars off and, and putting uh, the rubber strap on, on on the bars because it just loops through and it's got the, the four rings and so on this is um, a waterborne Australian strap you can't get them anymore but uh, NATO straps are, are widely available I'll put a link to where you can get a decent one the great thing about them is if anything happens an impact or someone grabs your watch and, and a bar gives way the watch is still on your wrist it has happened to me uh, and you, you can just put it back on so uh, for security it's really good so as i say seiko um uh, a decent divers watch billy jones who was a professional um uh, commercial diver who uh, worked with us and trained with us both in carrot day and, and worked on the doors um and on uh, close protection as well uh he said he said we all buy rolexes all the divers he said you know you, you get the big bucks he said but we all wear seiko when we're working uh, because they're strong and um, resilient so that, that's why i'm plugging seiko anyway um recently i, I just saw an advert and i sent away for a, a strap um which is the best of both worlds and it's this one And it's rubber, but it's the NATO design. So it's the split strap. And the 
can loop it through and you can see it's the, and it's it's very good rubber it's a nice design it's made by um, a firm, firm called yellow dog and again i'll put the link um a little bit expensive but it's made to measure you measure your wrist and you send off and the, the chap is uh, very good to deal with very fast service and i was delighted with it i haven't put it on a watch yet um and i'm just wondering which watch to put it on actually uh, i don't want to i don't want to cut off one of the rubber straps that i've already got uh, for example on this one but when when it, when it does when this one eventually uh degrades i i will put the uh the rubbernator on it and see how it goes and i'll keep you informed so that's just a little uh, talk about watch bands hope you enjoyed it